Local filmmaker Adrian Esposito may be young, but he has already made many films, often about social issues. Having Asperger's himself has made him passionate about telling stories about people with disabilities. His most recent film focuses on the portrayal of people with disabilities in Hollywood films. Take a look. Hello, my name is Adrian Esposito. I am a filmmaker. When I first began making documentaries, they were more historical and educational. I made my first documentary, which was about my grandmother and other people who went, lived through World War II in Europe and Asia, called Aging Trees of Knowledge. More recently, I met other people whose lives were also transformed by World War II. I wanted to tell their stories as well. It is one thing to see newsreels of World War II. It is another to hear a real person's experiences and thoughts. That was really the beginning. One of the first narrative films I actually did, I didn't direct it. It was called Bury My Heart with Tanawanda. John, what are you doing? What is your name, young man? My name is John. What yours? Chief Ritz guy. Nice to meet you, John. I uh, wrote and edited that film. It's my first attempt, I would say, at trying to do storytelling and bring out the importance of Native people along with people with disabilities, especially Down syndrome. It's very, I think, important to be made. Um, never, I don't think we've ever seen a film that combined both Down syndrome with uh, Native American element. And uh, I was able, we were able to pull it off under hard conditions because we were, again, it was a very low budget independent film. The reason I focus on disability in my filmmaking is because I myself have a disability, uh, Asperger's with autism. One of the reasons I wanted to do Difficulty Hollywood was because I had seen other documentaries like Hollywood Chinese, which was about the history of the Chinese and, and the Asian community in Hollywood films. Then I saw another f documentary film called Real Engine, which was about the history of Native Americans in Hollywood films and TV. And then I thought, wait a minute, why not do a documentary about something that's relevant to me, people with disabilities in Hollywood films and TV? Even though we make up 20% of the population, we do not make up 20% of the population of characters on screen. We make up less than 1%. One of the main goals for Difficulty Hollywood is is to eventually see people with disabilities like with Down syndrome or cerebral palsy as the action hero in movies. You know, not just as the victims or, or saints or whatever, but to show us as the next Jason Statham, for example. I got the Lifetime Achievement Award because people believe in me in my filmmaking I'm an important filmmaker that's presenting major and serious issues to the public. I, I thought it was a real honor to get the Lifetime Achievement Award. What was really special for me to get that was not the award itself, and, but was seeing people um, tell, tell you how much importance it is to them in their lives and how, uh, oh, I'm going to show this at my college or, oh, this was really uh, interesting, informative film, Adrian, or, oh, this is going to be the next cult classic or something like that. Uh, I think that's the biggest payoff. I know there's a lot of misconceptions about people with Asperger's and autism and so forth making their own movies or narrative films or whatever, but I, I would say I'm living proof that that's a myth that's busted. I have done films, I, I will keep doing movies, and I feel that just because I have Asperger's, I'm not going to let that hold me back. For more information, visit Adrian's website at espocinema.wordpress.com.
Adrian's newest film, Diffability Hollywood, will be playing at a special screening at the Little Theatre this coming Thursday, March 2nd at 6 p.m. There will also be a question and answer session with Adrian and Jack Garner after the screening. For more information, visit WXXI.org slash include. This segment was produced as part of the Move to Include initiative with funding provided by the Golisano Foundation.